Welcome back, guys. I'm back with the collective read. So let's jump right into it. I'm using the Millennial Oracle deck here. And then we'll jump into the tarot. So let's get um, a collective read first and see what messages come out. Give me a message for the collective, please. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got clap back. So it looks like somebody's doing some clap back. Somebody's doing a comeback. They got a diss. They fighting back. They not being a doormat no more. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shade being thrown. A lot of shade being thrown. Okay, so there's a lot of shade going on. Yes, it's a lot of shade going on. It looks like somebody this could be going on on the internet. Okay, we got viral here. Um, somebody could be playing mind games and being non-committal. Is somebody could be getting breadcrumbed, but whatever this is, it's some somebody wants to say something so bad, like they want to yell it to the top of their lungs, like something needs to be said or put something out in the open, obvious, letting everyone know. So somebody's trying to let someone else know that they're being breadcrumbed. Why they doing? It's something on the internet. Tell me more. Some of you could be dating online. I see you guys getting a lot of hearts, a lot of likes on your pictures. I see that as well. Like, you're getting a lot of compliments. Some of y'all are, um, like, taking pictures. You look young. You look free. You just look like you're having a lot of fun, okay? This look like you're having a lot of fun. And I see y'all getting a lot of validation. I see y'all online a lot. It looks like you guys could be online a lot. Why is adulting here? Yes, yeah, somebody's throwing shade about your adult life, about your maturity level. Somebody got major shade that they're throwing. Okay, both of the shade cards came out. We got clap back and throwing shade. And somebody could be feeling like they're better because they are pretty basic. And maybe you've been being real extra, being on fleeky fleek. All right. But you definitely got somebody watching you. You got somebody watching you. Whoever it is. This could be an ex. Somebody who's a simp. That you may have told by Felicia. <laughs> um, or maybe you've been keeping yourself clean, nice, kept, up kept. And someone else, someone else is in the picture. They, you know, they just aren't being responsible it doesn't look like they're being responsible it looks like somebody is definitely i'm getting dating online but they're being bread coming. i'm getting definitely getting that some of my bread coming okay okay boomer this could be from an older person someone older someone older Yeah, I'm getting like, you guys could be online a lot. Like, you're online a lot. So, it's only right. I mean, it's not saying that it's right, but it's, you can almost always get it. If you're on a line a lot, you're going to have, like, haters. You're going to have haters. Yeah, it's like your love life is turned. It's like your dating life looks fun whatever you're showing to the world it's like you're having a bunch of fun 
it's like you're having a bunch of fun. Somebody wants you to sit down. Okay, somebody wants to bench you. Somebody wants you to sit down and and be bougie and act whatever way. But it looks like y'all are out having a lot of fun right now. Like y'all getting thumbs up, hearts. Yeah, and see, people may think that you're bragging. We got humble brag. People may think that you're bragging, and they definitely sitting up here talking. Got something to say and talking about how these males are under your picture or these females up under your picture, your comment section. But they they low key, they watching the hell out of you. They watching who comment and looking at what this what they got to say. They feel like you bragging. This person may want to put you on blast. Why is I key here? Yep, somebody wanna put you on blast. Somebody feels like we got um, slut shaming. So somebody's judging you. And they want to put you out on blast. This person has double standard. Okay. They're afraid that you're uh, not afraid to express yourself. They could be, a, like I said, this person is trying to bend you. They're trying to make you sit down. You're supposed to be woke. You're supposed to be woke. I mean, you're supposed to be behaving bougie. Somebody wants she wants you to sit down. Somebody wants you to sit down. Somebody trying to sit you down. They feel like you having too much fun. Somebody feel like you having too much fun. Somebody feels like you are having way too much fun. What is this person's problem? Why do they feel like they can control control you like this? I was like, let's see. Why is this person in their feelings? Because this this person is it's way 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 in their feelings. Why is this person in that place? Oh, this is someone who really has a crush on you. They think about this is somebody that you had you had to deal with this person already. So this is someone that you dealt with previously. That you this person could be addicted to you and they don't like seeing you, you know, having fun with other people. This is my addiction card. Like somebody has a fetish. This person addicted to you. And you're making this person nervous. You're making them nervous. You're making them nervous. Because this person could go through spells where they feel pretty lonely. This person is love struck over you. Like I said, this person is addicted to you. But that you're making them nervous by having too much fun. Yep. They want to come towards you. They want to communicate towards you. But they want to keep it on the low. They want it to be low. So that's why. That's why they might have something else going on that they don't want you to know about. Or you may have something else going on and they want to come back in. But they want it to be on the low. They've been reminiscing about you. I'm telling you, this is an ex. They've been reminiscing about you. But see, their ego, their ego is in the way. They've been thinking about how you guys are when y'all are in the bed. They want to come towards you, but they're nervous. They don't even know what to say to you. They don't even know how to come at you. This person thinks that if they reach out to you, it's going to be tense. Like, they feel like the conversation is going to be tense. And right now, I feel like they are bored with the situation that they're in now. And they want to reach out to you. But they they want something casual themselves. So they looking at you having fun and thinking that other people are getting you in a certain way when really they want it. This is them. This is how they're viewing you. Like they have some type of fetish. You you do something for them that they've been missing out on. Tell me more about this person. Who is this person? Show me the energy. Show me this person's energy. Who is this person coming towards my collective? They mad ass. Is somebody who you ended it with? They didn't value you the first go round. 
They mad at themselves for that. Um, they lost. <laughs> they feel like you're too calm. Like you're too calm. I don't know. Like something happened that they may have thought that you would have been outraged about, but lately you've been being too calm. Like. They are trying to figure out what's your plan, what your plan is. There, you got this person out in their head. Like they, they unsure. They don't know what. They don't even know how to come at you. This person thought that. They could come to you with some type of truth and apologize for it later. But maybe you drop this person. I see this person feeling like they put in a lot of work. They put in a lot of work. This person feel like they put in a lot of work. Why is the temperance here? But they want to clear the air. I keep hearing this person keeps saying, I thought you said that it was cool or it was okay. It's something here about asking for money. Okay, this person feels over like this person feels like they overextended themselves in the connection with you previously so they feel like they felt like if they would was to come to you and tell you the truth they could apologize for it later or something like that it's something about somebody asked them from you asked them for money in the past or something like that you asked them for support or they asked you for support but they feel like we got the Queen of Swords and the Strength card. We could have a Leo involved or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see. Tell me more. And the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Moon. So there's secrets here. This person had secrets in their past that looks like it came out or they were running away from. The secret is that this person had other options. This person could be trying to get your attention. Moving ahead. Yeah, this, you're on this person's mind. You're on this person's mind. They could be trying to get your attention. But at the same time, this person feels like you don't deserve a relationship with them. They're li really looking at like three of swords and a three of cups and it's one something sexual. They're really looking for something sexual. They feel like you don't deserve um, the title or you don't deserve... Um, them putting all the work in again because they already put in all the work before. Why is the two of wands here? This person is a narcissist. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, this person was like purposely putting this on hold. For some of you, this could have been a marriage or you're dealing with the Taurus. This person, yeah, this person decided to put put the situation on hold. They went to see what else is out there. But it looks like they are disappointed. They're spying on you too. They're spying on you to see if you're depressed, sad, lonely. And they're over here trying new things. Okay, their energy is like, well, we're just going to try some new things. We're going to try something new. Yeah, this person, they are hoping for some type of something can go in their favor sexually. So this person thinks of you sexually a lot. Like this person thinks of you very in a very sexual way all the time. But their energy is the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. So, it 
it looks like you didn't want to compete with nobody with no other female or male take it as it resonates so you left um they're having regrets about that they're surprised that you want to be free they was waiting on you to reach out to them this person acts like they want you to change this is definitely a narcissist This person also didn't think that you were going to like figure something out, but they're having major regrets. It looks like you, this person tried to put you in competition with other people. Like, yeah, fight it out, duke it out. Like, who does that? Like, this is so childish and narcissistic. It's weird. Okay, so let me see what this person's intentions is towards you. And then we're going to head out. Let's get a little bit more. All right, show me this person's intentions towards the collective. What are their intentions? Sunglasses, they're watching you. They're watching you, stalking you, gaslighting you. They're watching you. It looks like they're in a karmic situation. Maybe they're going to call you because we got love call and karmic relationship and ex. Okay, so maybe they plan on cutting this uh, karmic off. And reaching out to you, but they're just spying on you first to see what's going on. Paradise engagement ring. Well, it looks like it looks like they want to take things to the next level with you. Yeah, that's spying. Yeah, we got abundance. Abundance. They got a lot of people who like them. And they got a bunch of choices. They're just, it looks like they're in um, a karmic relationship right now that they need to uh, separate from. It looks like it, for sure. They have a lot of people who like them. They got a lot of different options. Okay, like I said, this person is addicted to you. This person got some type of addiction to you. It's You're seductive. Like, it's something about the way you seduce them or something like that. I'm telling you, this person has some type of addiction to you. This person is addicted to you. All right. And you have the key to their heart. We got a heart with the key. Welcome and love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. You are the perfect one for them. You have the, you got the key to this person's heart. But they're definitely with the karmic. And this person is mirroring your energy as well, too. They're marrying you. Wow, 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 wow. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, honey. Because y'all got somebody, a crazy ass that ain't let go, honey. Let me pull, let me pull from here right quick. I'm just going to pull one, one or two cards from here. What does this person want to say to the collective? Hmm. I'm sorry for lying to you. Also, I feel like this person don't know what to say to you either. But they're sorry for lying to you. They lied to you about something. All right, so that's what I got for you. If this message resonated, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Share with your family and your friends, okay? And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Ciao for now.